Skull specimen is an organism all by itself. It evolved kind of like life on Earth. It wasn't ever my design to create something like this at all. I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud to see the response that people have, and I'm, it really delights me to hear kids coming and saying, we love this place, and parents saying the kids learn so much, and the teachers that have been coming from Georgia, from other places, because they get something out of it. And it isn't my charming personality or anything else, it's that we're showcasing life, we're putting life out there, we're putting the real thing. You can't get anything more real than picking up a spider crab or a horseshoe crab or Watching an eel swim across a tank, that's the really big asset of Gulf Specimen, is we're able to bring these creatures to the public. My first experience of Gulf Specimen was as a professor at Yale University, and I was teaching invertebrate zoology, and every week the most exciting thing that happened in the biology department at Yale was the package from a mythical place in Florida called Panacea. Sea squirts, sponges, all sorts of little crustaceans, baby octopus ones. For 50 years, Gulf Specimen has worked side by side with marine scientists and biomedical institutions to help us understand life in the ocean so that we don't destroy it and try to create a better world. I've worked mostly for the last decade or so on deep sea corals, but I'm also interested in the beautiful shallow reefs we have out here offshore. They're vibrant, they're healthy so far, and they're very diverse. And I'm hoping to work with the Gulf Specimen Marine Lab to keep some animals in their tanks so that we can study them a little more closely and try to work out what the relationships are between different animals um, on the reefs. What I hope for the next 50 years is that Gulf Specimen continues. When I see the joy in the faces of the children as they pick up these creatures, or the discovery that graduate students have as they're learning about sponges or other creatures and the wonders of life, I want that to stay there. This should not die with the founders. This should continue on into the future. That's why we hope someday we can get an endowment or serious funding something to where the politicians catch up with the public who said hurrah for this and want to stand behind it and fund it. That's what we're hoping that will happen.